Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm really excited as I'm able to bring to you um, some of the merchandise I've been able to pick up for the new live action, The Little Mermaid movie that is coming out on May 26th. And I have been waiting very somewhat patiently uh, for things to come to my area. And today Walmart had all of this. And so we're going to start with this one, which is the Jack Specific Toys Under the Sea Exploring Ariel, the Little Mermaid doll. So I absolutely love her. I think she's so, so cute. Um, this is kind of their version of the Shop Disney um, animator collection line because they're like a toddler doll, if you will. Uh, very much like the, uh, uh, like I said, the animator line that Shop Disney does. So um, this one, she was basically, I think after tax, like $46 uh, at my Walmart. I was really hoping they'd have the budget uh, Mattel doll. They said they did. However, when we were looking Looking where it was supposed to be and everywhere we thought it could be and it was not there so but they did have this one so I'm going to go ahead. We're going to look at her uh, box now. I'm just really excited. <laughs> so you can see here, they kind of made the box look like a clamshell as we have the scalloped edge here, which I think is really cute. Um, and then that same corner here, uh, Disney's The Little Mermaid, the new logo under the sea exploring aerial, Jack Specific. If you're looking for her in your area, here is your uh, barcode. Um, on the side here, we have kind of this iridescent gold uh, border and the same kind of this rainbow iridescent reflection on the box. On the top, we have Disney's The Little Mermaid in that same beautiful... Oh, I should have bought two because <laughs> I'm getting this one out. Um, but I want to keep one in the box. And then on the back here, we do have, again, the logo, a little bit about the doll. So if you want to pause and read it, you certainly can. Picture of the doll out. Ariel lights up and sings when played with in water. So you do have to put her in water in order to do that, which I will not be doing, just an FYI. I don't want to get her wet today. Um, and then, of course, they show that you can get um, a, a costume for her. They also have a costume on Shop Disney now, too, so I think that's pretty cool. And it does say the Ariel thing is part of your world. Um, just due to copyright infringement and all that kind of stuff, I probably won't be able to do that portion of the doll, uh, just an FYI. Uh, but I will do everything else that I possibly can without, you know, possibly having any copyright claims. So let's go ahead and take her out. Okay, so I'm going to preface this review with this. Um, any negative comments regarding Hallie playing Ariel? Any negative comments about this not being your Ariel? Um, basically anything degrading, berating, whatever of this movie will not be tolerated on my channel uh, at all. It will get your comment deleted and you blocked, just an FYI. Um, I, that's all I'm gonna say about that. So that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at this really cute little doll. So what I wanted to show you was um, basically how it looks like in the box and then what you have to do in order to make it look like, you know, a normal put together doll. So it does come as Ariel separate and then her tail fin has a little uh, spot here and then it just basically clicks right in as i say right in and doesn't go in okay that took some doing but i got it on it doesn't stay very well so i'm not super thrilled about that but it is what it is but there you go as you can see now she has a complete put together body which is really great uh so we're going to start of course at the top like we always do with all of our dolls she does have a uh, rooted hair here. It's very curly and very soft. Um, there is product in it, of course, to keep the curl, but it's not crunchy by any means. She does have a few uh, twist braids here. So there's two on each side of her head. You can see there, um, and we'll show you uh, what you can do with those here in just a moment. And then, of course, we have the adorable uh, face sculpt here, and I love that they included her mole. She even made a comment about that when she um, showed everybody the Mattel doll, and she said, oh my gosh, they included my mole, so I thought that was super, super cute. Um, as with all Jack's uh, Pacific dolls, she does have acrylic and set eyes, and then we have some brown glitter in there looking beautiful. Some gold shimmer eyeshadow, long eyelashes. Of course, those are painted on. Her head, of course, does um, pivot, so that is pretty nice. You can do that there. Uh, she has a little fabric top here. Um, I love how they did the top, actually, for the movie. I think it is a very well-done idea. Um, shells probably would have been a little hard, so I do love this kind of like a continuation of her tail uh, with some scales. I think it's pretty neat there. Battery pack, of course. Her on-off button is right there. Um, and then coming down, she does have semi-posable arms, um, like at the shoulder only. Coming down, of course, you do have her tail, and I need to check real quick. Hi, friend. Yes. Would you like to join me for an adventure? There you go, so you can see that. And this part, the next one, I have to bleep out, but what I will do is I'll turn the music up and turn my volume down, and you'll see that her tail lights up. OK, 
okay and then um it's basically she's saying it's part of your world Hi there. and then it's just really cute. I love that they did give her kind of that voice. This, of course, lights up also in water. I think that's a fun little gimmick as well. And then the um, fins on her actual tail are hard moldable pla or molded plastic. So um, you can see that there. Here's the sensors for when she's in the water. Um, that kind of just lets them know that A, it activates the doll off of play mode and B, it also can make her sing as well. Now, she also comes with, as I said, some hair clips. So you can see here, there's a little shell hair clip, which these can just clip right onto the braids if you wanted them to. Um, there's also a, I'm not sure what this is. Uh, looks like a possible clamshell with a pearl. That's what it looks like to me, at least. <laughs> um, a piece of seaweed. Sargasso seaweed, it looks like. A seashell, or excuse me, a uh, starfish. I'm sorry. Really cute. And these are all just a soft plastic. Um, I am not going to put those in there because I don't want to ruin her uh, twist braids there. Um, but she also comes with a dingle hopper which it states, you know, if you put these in her hands, it'll activate her singing button. And that is very true. It does. Uh, but again, since I just did the one, it's going to show me the other. <laughs> we can't do that because of copyright. But uh, it, she can hold it in her hand if you want her to. So you can see there, it does stick decently well. And then the other item she comes with is a uh, pretty pink iridescent seashell. So you can put that in her hand too if you wanted to and have her hold it as well. So that is the new Jack Pacific Ariel live action Little Mermaid doll. All right, everyone, well, I hope you enjoyed my review of the new Halle Bailey, Bailey uh, Little Mermaid doll. She's super, super cute again. This is from Jack Pacific. She was about $45 found mine at Walmart today. Um, so keep your eyes out. More merch is of course coming and I have more reviews to do as well as I found three other items that I'm going to show to you guys here. Plus I have a couple more items that I pre-ordered that are on the way. Uh, so hopefully we'll get those here soon, but definitely keep your eyes open. Uh, if you're looking for merch, it is out there and oh my goodness, it is not disappointing at all. She is so, so cute. Absolutely love her. So hope you guys enjoyed. I uh, hope uh, everyone's having an extra magical day. Leave any questions and comments down below and we will see you guys real soon.